Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming to my talk today, uh, entitled On Farm Precision Experimentation in Organic Dryland Grain Production. My name is Sasha Lowen, and I am a PhD candidate at Montana State University. So jumping right into the experiment we conducted here in the past year or two, uh, you can see a field that we've been doing experimentation on in a uh, in southeast Manitoba, up in Canada. Uh, you can see this is an 80 acre piece or 32 hectare piece. You can see the elevation map here showing the variation across the field. And you can see we've put in an input rate of varied wheat across that field in, in the 2020 season, uh, varying it randomly across the field uh, in an effort to determine optimum uh, seeding rates, both for uh, minimized weed presence and for maximized yield. Uh, shown here in figure C is the weed volume as um, determined through survey. And uh, after attempting to determine whether these uh, as applied rates affected weed volume, we uh, determined that they were spatially autocorrelated and put them into a random forest model uh, in an effort to come up with an optimized seeding rate for minimized weed volume. And that is the picture you can see here in figure D, this map showing what an optimized seeding rate uh, would look like uh, if we were attempting to redu reduce uh, weed volumes across this field in this year of wheat experimentation. The following season, we conducted a similar experiment, and in the farmer's rotation was hemp, and you can see we varied the hemp rates across the field again, um, and, uh, but we see a very different weed pattern in this season uh, as opposed to the following season, so this is 2021 this year. And uh, when we punch that through the model to try to determine an optimum seeding rate, we come up with a, a very different um, optimized seeding rate. So this is just to highlight that A, uh, the seeding rates can be used to minimize weed uh, volumes, uh, and also that this um, attempted optimization could take some years in order to determine uh, not only spatially, but over time, what is the best uh, methodology for uh, employing this technique. And then I also wanted to just show a quick example of how we've been doing this uh, for yield optimization. So following through on that 2020 experiment with, with wheat, where we varied wheat across the field, this is the actual yield output that we got in that season. We then wanted to know, okay, well, what would be the um, different simulated rates that we could uh, employ uh, through this model? And in B, you see what the farmer chosen, what that what their rate would have been. In C, you find what the model predicts the optimum new optimum average would be for the entire field. In D, you see if we imagine the field split into two, uh, thus uh, minimizing workload for the farmer in terms of setting up uh, precision uh, inputs, you can see that uh, there's um, uh, a figure on the, on the west and a figure on the east that the farmer could employ. And then finally in figure E, you see what the optimized seeding rate would look like for the entire field uh, following the output from this model on a grid by grid basis. And you see the simulated yields beneath each of those. And I just wanted to highlight that when we run this through an economic analysis, the uh, experimental rates do uh, cost the farmer something. Um, the two rates, interestingly, um, is actually the lowest. So splitting the field in half is counterintuitively not the best uh, option. In fact, it's the worst option for the farmer. And that optimum rate uh, does show uh, does appear to be the best uh, rate uh, option for the farmer. So just highlighting that we can optimize for the farmer, for an organic farmer, uh, for yield based on seeding rate of a simple cash crop such as wheat. So in conclusion, uh, we are going to continue experimentation with uh, our farmers uh, that we are working with, and we uh, want to automate this workflow moving forward and experiment with other different seeding rates, such as green manure seeding rates to optimize nitrogen. And uh, yeah, thank you to all of my uh, collaborators and coworkers, and feel free to email me and check out my paper in the conference proceedings. Thank you.